Hello friends. So as in our previous chapter, chapter four, we have discussed uh, about depth first search. Uh, in this specific video, we are going to discuss depth limited search, one another kind of uninformed search strategy. So let's discuss it. Uh, what we have discussed in a previous video, uh, basically in depth first search, that if the specific state space is infinite, then in that case, uh, the specific result is incomplete or the whole process will be infinite in that case. So uh, that, that embarrassing feature failure of DFS in infinite space, state space can be alleviated by supplying depth first search with a predetermined depth limit L. Okay, so what happens in uh, depth first search basically, uh, say we are moving to this direction, we are moving from one to two, two to four, four to eight, we will keep continuing to the downward side uh, and if that specific depth is unlimited, in that case, we will never come to any other node, uh, say, at, say at the right side of this one. If our goal is at this side, suppose 7 is our goal, we will never able to reach in this place. So what we should do, how we can uh, recover this specific failure of depth first search. For this, we have another approach that is called depth limited search. So let's discuss what we basically do in depth limited search. First of all, depth limited search is uh, generally uh, depth first search. It do not have any other uh, the general criteria of finding out how uh, to uh, traverse the tree, how to find out the nodes. That is basically whatever uh, the way we do with depth first search. So the only difference is that now this time we have specified limit with that one. Okay. In previous one, we are saying, say, we are moving to this specific way from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, and so on. But in this case, what we are doing, we are specifying the limit is 2. That means up to level 0, level 1, level 2, it will never come to level 3. Okay. As we have already discussed that if our goal is 7, in that case, in level 2, it will able to find it out. So now, there will be a benefit of specifying limits in that one. Suppose we are saying limit is 2. This is our tree. In that tree, we are having three, le three levels, level 0, level 1, and level 2 that we are uh, separating by this blue line. Okay. So what will happen that this specific tree traversal will follow as depth first search. What happens in depth first search? In open list, it basically find out the root first. Suppose 1 is here. After that, it will find, uh, it will remove this one from uh, the specific open list and it will find the two children of that one that is two and three that will be added in this list now. After that, two will be picked because it works on last and first out order. So two will be picked and its children will be generated that are four and five and four and five will be added at the front of this specific list. So two will be removed and four and five will be added there. Okay. Now four will be picked, but it will not go beyond because now we have reached two limit two. our limit is being arrived. So further expansion of four will not be performed and four is not our goal. So it will be removed from here. Now five will be checked. Five is still not our goal. It will again be removed from the list. Now three is there. Three do have two successive childs at level two. So they will be picked up from there. Three will be removed and six and seven will be added over there. After that, six will be checked if it is goal node or not. And seven will be checked if it is goal node or not. But they all are not goal node in this case because we are specifying that 11 is our goal. In that case, we don't found any goal. So we can say that still uh, we are able to traverse the complete levels, but the depth limited search is also incomplete as depth first search is there. But still, in some way, we can say that we have completely follow all the tree. We have traversed all the tree. If our limit were three, in that case, we were able to find a goal. So guys, uh, if we talk about space complexity of depth limited search, it is uh, linear in terms of big O, B, L. And if we are talking about time complexity, it is exponential, that is B to the power L. So almost space and time complexity is same as we have with uh, depth first search. The only benefit we can say that we have a limit and we can say we can traverse the whole tree up to that limit and we can increase it by uh, one by one and we can check if we can, we can found our goal in that specific tree, uh, if it is there or not. So guys, this is enough for this video lecture. 
uh, in upcoming chapter 6 we will discuss iterative deepening depth first search and another advancement of uh, say depth first search for uh, making it complete and for finding uh, an optimal solution in that case so guys till then please like and subscribe thank you very much